I'm Cameron McNatt. I'm the co-founder and managing director of Motion Energy. Uh, I started Motion Energy with Chris Retzler five years ago. We've developed this wave energy converter technology. It's a hinge draft, so two hulls connected by a hinge, and waves cause a rotation about the hulls that drives a generator. Compared to traditional hinge drafts, we're producing anywhere from three to eight times as much power for the same size. It's been years really in getting to this stage. It feels great to kind of finally get to a stage where it's so close. The build phase of, of the device has taken about two years. Having such a, a fantastic team and a great group of contractors working for us has, has been an absolute pleasure really. It's really made the project come together in a timely manner and we're really excited about the next step. Hi, I'm Tim Hurst and I'm the Managing Director of Wave Energy Scotland. Scotland has a huge wave energy resource, probably the biggest in Europe, and that gives us the opportunity to use technology like this to generate low carbon electricity. So we're in Orkney, which is the home of the European Marine Energy Centre, uh, a place where we're going to demonstrate the Blue X wave energy technology. We built EMEC in Orkney because it's the best place to do it for learning how to make the most of wave energy. I've lost count how many machines we've had here. It's probably about a dozen or so uh, wave energy machines. Um, and a lot of lessons have been learned from this. We're out at Emacs Scapa Flow uh, wave energy test site to see our wave energy converter Blue X. It's, it's been going great so far. It, Blue X has been in the water for two months. Really great site to start our testing. We're getting about one weather system a month where we're generating some data. But we're also getting to prove a lot of our operations and you know, verify the performance of the machine. So we're going to continue to test here in Scapa Flow through the autumn. We'll take the machine out and we'll add a bit of equipment on there. And next year we're doing a project called Renewables for Subsea Power where we will connect Blue X to some subsea equipment and demonstrate providing power and communication to that equipment, which is the commercial use case. The most thrilling bit has been seeing the machine in the water. We have dozens of sensors on board which uh, are accumulating data and we're examining that data and uh, we're working through and, and debugging the various uh, issues that have arisen. It's been a, a phenomenal learning experience. The most enjoyable part has been bringing the device to Orkney uh, and getting it out in, into the water. Everything's really led up to that point and actually being here, having the device working, gathering data has been really important and really exciting. Orkney is a fantastic place to, to test just because there's so much embedded knowledge and a really good supply chain up here so um, it means we have really supportive uh, contractors that have really uh, enabled us to, to, to get the most out of testing the device. Up here in Orkney there's been a pretty small team but we've got a great team of great facilities. Towards the end of this year, I hope we get you know, a lot more waves at this site. We should, to winter, we'll get a lot more generating conditions and get to you know, export more power. And then, yeah, really looking forward to next year, moving to the east coast of Orkney and get out into more continuous generating conditions. Mm -hmm.